got 16 people watching already. Wow. Oh, yeah, your mic's live. That's too far. <laughs> this is a test. One, two, one, two.
from our sponsors, Sam supporters, families, Billet families, and our whole community for continuing to support your hometown team. Hello, hockey fans. Welcome to the Imperial Oil Place Arena. And guess who's back? That's right, Carter Simpson back on air for a preseason game between the Fort St. John Huskies and your Cold Lake Ice. First of all, let's meet the starting goaltenders brought to you by Cold Lake Ford. Cold Lake Ice going with Jane Chase and Nett, number 31. And at the other end for the St. John Huskies will be Daniel Sturgeon, number 30, in net. I'd like to welcome viewers from Cold Lake and from St. Fort St. John, I'd like to welcome here on our air on Cold Lake Ice TV. As we're excited to bring you a first of two meetings between the Cold Lake Ice and Fort St. John Huskies. Lining up is Scott Thackeray. Line up against Alex Nemo in the face-off circle. And we are underway for a little preseason action. Number two, here is Evan Dotzler across ice there for Brendan Model. As I will learn the lineups here really fast here. Where number 10 is Logan Kimmy for the Fort Sanchino, but it's stripped now and here comes Scott Thackeray with the puck. Back to get there is Dotzler, he'll fire it around the boards. Receiving it there is Ethan Peak. Ethan Peak, a returnee player. Brendan Model now. Go cross ice there for Dotzler now. Here is Model. Model will flip it up ahead there for Alex Nemo. Nemo will cut inside backhand and it's stopped there by Chase. First shot on that there for the Huskies. Puck is kept in there. And a huge body check. Scott Thackeray. Put the boom there. Puck is scrambled for it along the corner. And it is Noah Cook now. Noah Cook, another returnee for the Cold Lake Ice. 
Here's the puck up here for Winkle now. Winkle being pressured there by Josh, but shot from the point there by number 12, Oscar Burgess, and an easy glove save there for Jaden Chase. Early opportunities there for the Fort St. John Huskies. A team out of the league in British Columbia have came down here nine hours as uh, they are here for a two game series. And the puck is iced there by Kolik and the face off is coming back inside Kolik Heist territory. Facing off there is Alex Nemo and he wins the face off but taken away there by Josh Butt and up ahead here for Van Moran, as he is wearing number 16 tonight for the Cold Lake Ice. Both teams battling for the puck there in the St. John zone. Fort St. John zone. Correction on that one. Back to get it here is Keaton Harness. Harness now with the puck. Noah Cook will get to it first. Puck is shot around and picking up there is Dawson Cook. Caleb Burnett now will backhand the puck out of the zone and back to get it there is uh, Evan Dotzler. Dotzler will just take his time. Puck is tipped in there by number seven, Chase London. He is wearing number seven tonight for the Fort St. John Huskies. Up ahead there for number 19, Nick Lowen as he is wearing number 19 tonight. He'll circle around the net. And a nice offensive play there by Charles Malou as he was able to get in the way of that lane pass intended there for Evan Dotzler. Face off is coming back inside Cold Lake Ice territory. Face off is coming inside the Cold Lake Ice zone. Puck is one there, shot on it there by Justin Brownlee, but that did not get through. Puck is thrown towards the net. And another block tip there, here's Dotzler now. Put it on net there for Chase. And he will tip that and cover that up. Fort St. John putting some early pressure early on. Thackeray will line up in the face-off circle against Jaden Lavrin. Lavrin. Correction on that one. Puck is shot around the boards. Ethan Peak. Puck is shot out there by McCarthy now, but he will ice the puck. That is like the fourth icing already for the Cold Lake Height. Lavrin is in the face-off circle. Lose the draw there against Thackeray. And the puck is up ahead here. Here's Thackeray with the puck. Thackeray, nice move. Thackeray in front. Tried to connect there for Christian Foisey, but he could not get a stick on it. And we have a penalty coming up. And a cross check there after. And we're getting some early action early on. It's not Thackeray. There's a cross check. And it will be Oscar Burgess going to the box for the Fort St. John Huskies. And it will be for boarding. It's the Cold Lake Ice. We'll go on the power play here. As we are three minutes and 28 seconds into this game. Already getting some rough stuff. So the face off is coming inside the Cold Lake High zone. As I put the power plane out there, McCormick, Thackeray, Foise will be out there as well. McCarthy with the puck now, he will, and it looks like, no, he did not hold it in. So Reed, Bar Reed uh, Bateman, Bartman can just get this out. 
and he'll shoot the puck down. Ethan Peek now with the puck. He'll go up ahead there for Scott Thackeray now to Peek. Peek fanned on the attempt there, and it's stripped, and here come the Sea Dog, or the, the Huskies. The puck is backhanded weakly there. Looks like by Connor Wishy getting there. Or correction, make that number eight, Justin Brownlee able to win the puck battle, but he could not quite get a connection over to Nick Lowen, so the faceoff is just gonna come inside. Kolek Heist territory. Noah Cook now has the puck, he'll just settle it behind his net. Kolek Heist cannot seem to get anything going on this power play. And the puck is down and nice skating effort there by Josh Buddy. he was able to negate the ice. Here is Noah Cook now with the puck. Puck a shot in the zone there by Dawson Cook. Round to get it there is Van Maron. Wins the puck battle, here is Noah Cook. Shoots and a glove save there as the first shot on the power play there for the Cold Lake Ice. Still 42 seconds to work with here on the power play. So lining up in the face-off, Caleb Burnett will be against number 10, Logan Kimmy. And Burnett wins the draw, but it gets right past Dawson Cook and he'll have to go get it. He'll go up ahead there for Noah Cook now. Cook tries to get past number 25, Evan Dotzer, but he, but he was able to knock that down and the Huskies able to shoot the puck back out. Here is Brunette now. Takes a bump there from number 20. And number two will shoot in the zone. Caden Hartness will shoot that up and it will be out of play. 10 seconds left to go on the power play. Puck is one there. Both teams fighting for possession now. Here is Parker Pike now. Pike gets stripped to the puck there by Hartness. And here's a breakaway now for Oscar Burgess. Burgess in, backhand! And it looks like it hit the post. Dangerous opportunity there. Looks like it might have hit the crossbar or the goal post. Dangerous short, short, dangerous opportunity there for the uh, Huskies. But it stays a 0-0 game. And here is Burgess with the puck. Burgess gets past Noah Cook. Here's Hartness now. Hartness goes up ahead there for Jared Winkle, but he is stripped there by Jaden Williams and the puck is shot back into the zone. Fort St. John trying to start a counterattack. Puck is shot off the glass. And back to get there is Grayson Dion. Here's a pass now in front and the goal. What a pass. And it's finished off there by number 27. Gonna pull up the lineup and see who's number 27 is, but what a what a nice pass there from Jared Winkle. And a beautiful finish, so. St. Fort St. John will take a one nothing lead. At 13-23. Play is now back in the zone. Here's a pass in front there for number 10. Logan Kibbeny just shot that wide. Both teams battling for the puck. The puck is shot out of the zone and will this be enough for icing as Dotzler goes after it. He's being watched there by 
Number 15, Ty Harper. And of Ice and Call against Fort St. John. So face off coming inside Fort St. John territory. Here's Noah Cook now from the point, shoots in the pocket shot wide. Both teams battle for the puck. Scramble from behind the net now. Here's Thackeray now, tries to throw it in front, but that was blocked there by number 23, Brandon Model. Here's Noah Cook now, tries to get a shot away. And he was blocked there by Logan Kimmy. Here's a wraparound attempt there by Noah Cook, and Noah Cook and Connor Witchy doing some shoving. And the goal scorer is Curtis Lee. So Curtis Lee is the goal scorer for the. Uh, First goal of the game scored by 14 John, number 27. Time of the goal, 15-22. Here's Ethan Peak now. So Curtis Lee will get the goal. Here is Ethan Peak, but his pass is intercepted there, thrown on net there by Justin Brownlee, but that no one was there. Puck a shot around the boards there for Justin Brownlee. Brownlee now with the puck. Takes a bump there from Thackeray. Chase London now applying some pressure there to Van Moran. Balfour along the boards and here is McCormick. Here's Peak now. Up ahead there for Thackeray. Scott Thackeray now. Throws it towards the net and a stop there by Sturgeon. Puck is kicked back there by Josh Butt. Picking up there is Nick Loden. Picking up here is Cole Cowan. Cowan now backhands it towards the net and it hit the side of the net. Puck is shot back into Cold Lake Heights territory. Back to get there is Jaden Williams. He'll play it off the boards. Up ahead there for Caleb Burnett. Burnett cannot get past Cole Cowan as he puts the puck back in. Here is number 20 now. Throws it towards the net. Puck is shot back in there by number 12, Oscar Burgess. And that's covered up there by Jane Chase. Thomas Lowen is wearing number 20 tonight for the Fort St. John Huskies. And Curtis Lee was the goal scorer. As we battle now for the puck here. Balfour on the boards. And it's picked up there by Lee, the goal scorer. Pass across and a goal! Brandon Model. What a pass there from Curtis Lee. And that is two points already for him in this game, and it's 2 nothing for the Huskies. What a finish. So Curtis Lee now in this face-off circle against Nathan Duff. And here is Hartness now, shoots in the puck, a shot wide. Here's Curtis Lee now. Puck is shot from the point there by Brennan Model and is whiffed on there by Hartness. Shot taken there by Lee and it's over top of the cage. 
Malou tries to get the puck out. Fort St. John putting some good pressure on. Here's a shot taken there. Puck is loose in the crease. Backhand and they score. Curtis Lee. Ayla backhand it through Jaden Chase. And 9.36 in and the Huskies are steamrolling right now. So that's two goals already for Curtis Lee. Not the start for the Cold Kites tonight. And back to get it here is Foyze now. Foyze throws it towards the net and that was knocked, the puck was knocked down. Here is Scott Thackeray now. Holy guy's trying to get something going here. Thackeray. Throws it towards that and it's sticked aside there by Sturgeon. Here is Logan Kimby now. And here's Ethan Peake now. But Fort St. John will take over. So correction on that goal, so they cut it to Brendan Model. And uh, it looks like uh, 27 will get the other assist. Eight twenty-five left to go in this uh, first period. Three nothing for Fort St. John. And a pass up here for Logan Kimmy. Gets bumped there by Jaden Williams. Both teams bound for possession of the puck. And the puck is shot out to center. And back to get there is number seven, Chase London as he fires the puck off the boards. Here's Bacot now, up at there for number 22, Parker Pike. But he has stripped off the puck and back comes London now with the puck. London will shoot the puck in, takes a, takes a ride there from Parker Pike. And Pike now has the puck, gets stripped of the puck. And here's Burgess now. Burgess gets rest off the puck there by Noah Cook. Cook will go up ahead there for peak for e for Parker Pike. Burgess now with the puck and a penalty coming up. Interference the call. And it will be Oscar Burgess. That is the second penalty already of the game. So Logan Kimmy will have the second assist on that goal from Model on that third goal. Pocket shot out and racing to it. And a nice defensive play there by Ethan P because he was able to, pre to prevent Cole Cowan from getting a breakaway. Cole Lakeis needs to get something going here. Looks like it looks like they only matched two or three shots on the last power play. Puck is one there, and the puck is shot in the zone there by Ethan Dotzler. Here is number four, Ethan Peak. Up ahead there for Nathan Duff. Nathan Duff tries to split the defense, and it's intercepted there by Brendan Model who has the third goal tonight. Model now will shoot the puck off the boards and out. Getting it there is McCarthy. McCarthy will go up ahead there for Ethan Peak. Peak's got time. Peak now will just circle around the neck. 
Peek will dump it back there for Devin McCormick now. McCormick up top there and a one-timer there by McCarthy and that sails over top of the net. McCarthy now dumps it in the zone. Here is McCarthy now. McCarthy fakes the shot. Cross ice there for number five, Jane Williams shot. And there's a rebound and it was cleared out there by number 23, Brendan Model. And here, here comes uh, number 11, Kristen Foyze and a backhand of a stop and back comes the other way. It is Logan Kimmy now. Takes a bump there from Number five, Gene Williams says he is laying the body on everyone. 15 seconds to go on the power play. Three nothing for Fort St. John. McCormick now gets in now. McCormick backhands and that was blocked there. Good stick there by Reed Bartman. Reed Bateman. Correction on that. Here is Caleb Burnett. And that is intercepted there by Logan Kimming. He will just shoot the puck in as he got there first against Jaden Van Moren. Penalty is over. Skolnick Ice are 0 for 2 on the power play so far. Here is Van Moren now at the puck. Nice move there as he gets it to number 22, Parker Pike. Shot taken there by McCarthy and it's stopped. The rebound is picked up there by Reed Bateman and the puck is shot out there by number eight, Justin Brownlee. Here's Burgess now with the puck. Press blocked that back in and here is uh, Chase London now. Gets stick checked there by McCarthy. Peak now. Nice move. Backhand towards the net and a goal. And it will. Looks like it will be Dawson Phillips getting that goal. Yes, sir. As he was able to sneak in and backhand it past Jane Chase and 4 0 for the Fort St. John Huskies. What a start. So after those two penalty kills, Fort St. John takes a 4-0 lead. Puck is shot off the boards. Looks like by Dawson Cook. And Burgess now puts a nice move there on Charles Malou. Puck is dumped back in. Nathan Duff will go after it against Jaden Loverin. Jaden Loverin. And here comes the goal scorer, Dawson Phillips. He was stick checked there by Dawson Cook and the puck is shot back into Fort St. John territory. Puck is chipped up ahead there for Burgess. Nice moves there by Burgess. But Nathan Duff will shoot the puck off the boards and not held in there. So the Fort St. John C. Huskies will have to clear the zone. And the puck is gonna be iced there by Nathan Duff and the will come back in the cold like ice zone. So Dawson Phillips will get the goal at 350. Puck is one there. Here's Charles Malou now. And he'll just shoot the puck in. Played there by Sturgeon. Here's number 23 going up ahead there for number 10 and off the boards and here puck is thrown towards the net there by Alex Nemo and the puck is shot wide. McCarthy now will flip the puck out. Puck is held in there by Brendan Bottle. And here comes Kristen Foyze now, Foyze. 
Puck is thrown towards the middle. Jane Williams able to keep the puck in. Now here's Foyze now. Foyze for McCormick. Puck will be held in there by Dion. And the puck is intercepted there by Brendan Model. The throw up ahead, but Jane Williams will intercept and dump the puck back in. Model up ahead there for Dotzler. And the puck goes up and into the Huskies bench, and we'll have a whistle. Face off in outside of the zone as the ice win it. Here's McCarthy now. McCarthy gets stripped of the puck there by Hartness. Hartness now. Oh, it takes a big bump there from McCarthy. And the puck is shot in there by Parker Pike. He'll go after it against Reed Bateman. Puck is lifted up ahead and back to get it there is number 17, Jared and Winkle. McCarthy now. He is stripped there by number 27. Puck is thrown towards the net and it's broken up there. Back to get it there is Tanner McCracken. Here is number 27 now with the puck. He'll bust his way in. Tries to get a shot away, but he fanned on it. A good stick there by Noah Cook, able to prevent him from getting a shot. <laughs> Face off inside Colder Kai's zone. Lowen now tries to win the draw. Here's Sakri now. He'll skate up ahead with it. Pucks pick up for number 20, up ahead there for Burgess and up the boards. And the puck is shot back in there by Scott Thackeray. Burgess now gets after it. Here's McCormick now. He beats him to the puck. And the puck is deflected off of Connor Witchy. And a golden opportunity there for Nick Lowen, but he lost handle the puck. Sixteen seconds remain here in this second period, or first period, pardon me. Face off one back and the puck just gets out of the zone as it was not quite held in. Hartness. He'll just take his time with the puck. Let the clock wind out. Let's take one more look off the boards. Here's Zachary now trying to get one more shot before the period ends. And the puck was knocked away there by Sturgeon. And that will do it for the first period. So the score after one period of play is the Fort St. John Huskies four and your Kodak Ice nothing. As we head into our first intermission here, thank you for joining the first period broadcast. As I'm Carr Simpson here, the cameraman is Jackson and we will see you in the second period. So don't go away, folks. We will be back after the first intermission.
Okay, hockey fans, we are back here in the second period between the Huskies and your Cold Lake Ice. 4 nothing Huskies after one period of play. And now we know a couple numbers. So Curtis Lee is number 27 this evening for the Huskies. And number 20 will be Tom, is uh, Thomas Lee. Or Thomas Lowen, I should say. Thomas Lowen. So Thomas Lowen is wearing number 20. And the faceoff is won there by Jared Winkle now, and he will dump the puck in the zone. Back to get there is Curtis Lee now. Takes a bump there from Noah Cook. And here's Dan McCormick now. Up out there for Foise. Foise now will try to throw it on net. No one home in the neighborhood. Lowen now with the puck. Thomas Lowen, he is wearing number 20 tonight. Noah Cook now with a nice spin move around Lee. Here's Burgess now and he'll settle things down. Here's a pass up ahead there for Winkle now. Winkle shoots and a pad save there by Jaden Chase. Puck is thrown back towards the net and it was knocked away by Dawson Cook. And here is Ty Harper now. Backhands it. Now is blocked. Here's Hartness now. Gets bumped off the puck there. Battle four, and the puck is shot out. And here is number 13. Takes a bump there, and here comes Justin Brownlee now with the puck. Brownlee gets knocked down there by Noah Cook, and he will get a penalty for that. As Josh Butt had the pass intercepted, and it looks like it's going to be a... Looks like it will be tripping. So Noah Cook will be in the box for two minutes, and... The Huskies are going on their first power play of the game. So Alex Nemo in the face-off circle against Caleb Burnett. And he wins the face-off. Back to Loudon. Loudon now. Cross ice there. Loudon now with the puck. Down to Kimmy. Cross ice there for number 22, Alex Nemo. And the puck is backhanded out. There by the Cold Lake Ice. And the puck is covered up there as nice rush there by Josh Butt as he's able to force a face off inside of the Husky zone. Face off is inside Cold Lake Ice territory. Puck is shot around the boards. Picked up there by Alec, by number 20, Thomas Lowen. He has the puck now, Lowen. Up ahead here, and here is Witchy now. Puck is shot out there by number 16, Jaden Van Moran. Lowen now will play the puck. Moran now with the puck. Tries to throw it there, but that was knocked away there by Lowen. Back to get it there is London. Chase London now up ahead there for Nick Lowen. Nick Lowen now in the zone. Backhand towards the net and a pad save there by Jane Chase and he will cover that up. So face off is coming back inside. Cold Lake Ice territory still 52 seconds. Let's go on the power play for the Huskies. First, the two preseason meetings between these two teams. And the pass is, puck is knocked away there, and back to get it is Model. He has one of the goals tonight. Being watched there by Charles Malou. He'll give it to Chase London. 
London gets stick checked there by Charles Malou. And Mal now will just skate behind his own out. He'll drop it for London. Up ahead there for number 27, Curtis Lee. And back comes Jared Winkle now. Shot taken there by Chase London. And a pad save there. Here is London now with the puck. Throws it towards there, and Curtis Lee now tries to get to the puck. Lee now. And a shot taken there, a couple of cracks at it there. And some shoving after the whistle. And Nick Lowen with a couple of cracks at it, but he could not get it past Jaden Chase. Kola Kaisa have killed the penalty off. So Saint Fort St. John is 0 for 1 on the power play. Your Kola Kaisa are 0 for 2. Here is Noah Cook now. Puck is intercepted. Some physical play picking up here. Puck will be shot back in there by McCracken. And the puck took a weird hop off the boards now. Puck is backhanded there by Cowan. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Phillips. And the puck gets right past McCracken. He'll go after it and look at Dem McCormick. Takes him into the boards now. McCormick fights him, fights off a check. McCormick now down low. Puck is thrown towards the net and a good stick there by Reed Bateman. Puck is thrown up ahead there for Dawson Phillips and that is going to be icing against the Huskies. So folks, tomorrow's home game against the uh, Huskies will be at 12 o'clock, puck drop. And don't forget, the home opener for the Cold Lake Ice will be on Saturday, October 2nd. Saturday, October 2nd. Mark it on your calendars as we will open up against the Vermilion Tigers. That's when the season will get underway as Bacot now will fire it around. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Carter McCraw. And back comes Fort St. John as Logan Kimmy takes a check there, no call, play continues. Reed Bateman now with the puck. Nice spin move there on Nick Picot. Pass to intercept there by Parker Pike. Jane Williams tries to throw the puck towards the net, but that was blocked there by Brendan Muddle. Or pardon me, make that Jane Laverine. And here is a pass up ahead there for Model now. Model Deeks and a pad save there. Or pardon me, that was Alex Nemo. Tried to deke out Jane Chase, but Jane Chase stayed with the stayed right with them. Logan Kimmy now. Throws the puck towards the slot, and that will be covered up there by Jane Chase. That is two breakaways already there for the Fort St. John Huskies. As Burgess had one in the first period, nice, and nice effort there by Jane Chase as he was able to get the pad down and keep the puck out. Fuck is thrown there by Thomas Lowen, but a pad saved there by Jane Chase. And the puck has to come out of the zone. And Fortune, John will regroup. McCarthy now gets intercepted. Here is Thomas Lowen. Lowen now tries to take a shot, but that was blocked there by Jane Van Maron. Here's Burgess now with the puck. Nice spin move to get away by Ty Har from Ty Harper. Lowen gets crunched into the boards there by Caleb Burnett. Both teams battling for possession of the puck. Here's Charles Malou now. Kolekai's trying to get something going here. Malou. The pass is intercepted. 
And here comes Chase London now. She takes a clapper and that will be swallowed up there by Jane Chase. 13-12 left to go here in this second period. Huskies four, ice nothing. Face off, one towards the net now, and here's Chase London now with the puck. Puck is thrown towards the middle. An effort there by Dotzler tries to keep it in, but that's intercepted. Puck is tried, puck was thrown up ahead there by Ty Harper, but that was knocked away there by Dotzler. Dotzler now with the puck. Pass up ahead there for London. London in the zone now. Pass across there for Dotzler, but that puck came out of the zone and the Huskies will have to clear. Nathan Duff now takes a check there from Chase London. And here is Evan Dotzler behind his own net. Dotzler now takes a bump there from McCormick. Puck is carried in the zone there by Nick Lowen, but he was bumped off the puck, and here's Noah Cook. Up ahead there for McCormick. McCormick, up ahead there for Thackeray. Thackeray walks in, shoots, and he sails that over top of the net. Thackeray. Tried to throw, but a good stick there by Dotsley, able to prevent the puck from going to the net. And here's Nick Lowen now, but he was stripped off the puck there by Scott Thackeray and Noah Cook now with the puck. Throws up ahead, that was broken up there. Puck is dumped in the zone there by Parker Pike. Sturgeon now laying behind the net and here is McCracken now with the puck. Tanner McCracken now up ahead there for number 27, Curtis Lee. Lee now being checked there by Jane Williams. Puck is thrown towards the middle for Winkle now. Winkle shoots and that was deflected wide. Hartness tries to get to the puck but he overskated it. And puck up ahead there for Dedek Pacot. Pacot now circles the, the net. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Dion but that was deflected wide. Grison Dion with a good chance there for the Colt Ice. And the puck will be dumped back into the zone. Eat the pig. Uh, hey, Bart Bateman now with the puck. Up ahead there for Curtis Lee. Lee now. He'll skate it into Coldekai's territory. Curtis Lee now tries to throw the puck ahead there and is tipped on net there by Jared Winkle and a glove save there by Jane Chase. And we have a goaltending change, so. Looks like Joe Forbes will be coming in net for the Cold Lake Heights now. So it looks like uh, Jane Chase will just go half the game and now Joe Forbes will take over. Not a good night for Jane Chase, letting four goals. Puck is held in there, shot wide there by McCarthy. Here is Austin Phillips now. Phillips, one of the goal scorers tonight for the Fort St. John Huskies. And here is Cowan now, gets bumped off the puck. And here comes Nathan Duff. He'll dump the puck in. Here's a clapper there. Shot taken there by Dawson Cook and that, and the goal, and uh, Serge is just able to get a piece of it and the puck deflects over top of the net. Here's Burgess now. Up ahead there for Kimmy now. Logan Kimmy now. Nice move around Noah Cook. Gets around Charles Malou. Kimmy still with the puck, takes a bump there from Dawson Cook. 
Kimmy now still has the puck. He'll go cross ice. Therefore, Evan Doster, but he couldn't get a stick on it. And here is Logan Kimmy now. Down though there for Witchy. Here comes a shot taken there by Brennan Model, but that misses by a country mile. Lost of sustained pressure here. Shot taken there by Kimmy, and that was stopped there. Dotzer now shoots, and Jane Chase deflects that wide. And the Colder Kites finally will clear the zone here. Here comes Connor Ritchie now. Trying to take an advantage here. Here's a chance there for Keaton Hartness, and he couldn't quite stuff by Crux to make that number 22, Alex Nemo. As he bumps into Joe Forbes, looks like he's all right. And the net will come off the moorings. All right, so it looks like the referee putting the net back on its moorings. And it looks like we're ready to resume play here with 8.14 left to go here in the second period. Puck is dropped. And back to get there is Reed Bateman and it's dumped in there by Nick Lowen. Here is Jane Williams now. Puck is held in there by McCracken and the play will be called offside at the blue line. Face off will be outside of the Cold Lake High Zone. And the puck in the puck is won there by the Cold Lake Ice. Puck now, and he, Grayson Dion now will shoot the puck up ahead, and here's Jane Williams down behind the net. Here's McCormick now. Puck's held in there by Tanner McCracken. Puck is thrown in front of the net. And the hockey starts in there by Ree Bateman. Here is Foise now at the puck. Up ahead there for Thackeray now. Scott Thackeray shoots and scores! Scott Thackeray! Able to beat Daniel Surgeon over the arm. And the Kovac Heiser are back in the game. It's 4-1 with 7.18 left to go in the second period. What a pass there by Kristen Foise and Scott Thackeray and by himself able to beat Daniel Surgeon and the Colda Kaiser on the board. Here is Hartness now at the puck. Puck is running towards the slot there. Shot was whiffed on there by Jared Winkle. Winkle now with the puck. Winkle now, nice moves. Gives it to Hartness. Hartness throws it towards the net and that was blocked there by McCarthy. Shot taken there and that snapshot rang right off the bar. Keaton Hartness with a great chance. Pardon me, it looks like Jane Williams will get the assist on that, so. Scott Thackeray will get the goal. Jane Williams will get the assist. And here is McCott now. Here comes Lauer down with the puck. Thomas Lauer now backhands it towards the net. And that was shot wide. Here is Jared Winkle now. Winkle now cuts in and it's stopped there by Joe Forbes and he will hold on.
Face off is coming inside the Koltakai zone. Noah Cook now off the face off. Puck is shot up ahead there by Josh Butt. Back to get it there for the Huskies is Braden Model. Model. Cook now takes a clapper and a glove save there by Surgeon, and he will hold on to it. Five forty-seven left to go here in the second period. Four-one, Huskies lead. Scrabble forward off the faceoff, and it's one there by the Huskies. Puck is shot back into the zone. And here's Dotsler now up the boards, and here comes Jane Loverin. Puck is shot in there by Evan Dotsler. Puck shot there, there by around the boards there by Dawson Cook. Puck is shot back in the zone there by the Huskies. Cook now will try the other side. And he'll shoot down the zone, but that is going to come back on the icing. With 5.07 left to go here in the second period. Face off inside as Alex Nemo now scrambles for it off the face off against Brunette, and it's picked up there by. Ty Harper. Harper gets a takes a big check there from Reed Bateman, and here is Tanner McCracken now. Here comes Alex Nemo now. Alex Nemo cuts around the net. Nemo shoots, and he shot that wide. Tried to fire it in from a sharp angle. Jane Williams now will try and get the puck out. Caleb Burnett tries to get it out, and the puck finally comes out of the zone. Scrum for in front of the Huskies bench. Here comes a shot taken there by Alex Nemo and a save there by Joe Forbes. 4.25 left to go. Kolekais just got a much needed goal to get back in this game but still trail four to one with 4.25 left to go in this first period, or second period. Both teams battle possession for the puck. Puck is just held in there and the puck is shot wide there by Oscar Burgess. Both teams fighting for possession here. Puck is shot back in there by Nick Lowen. Picking up there. Is MacArthur now? Ethan P takes a run there. Passes inter puck is intercepted. That shot was blocked there by Nick Lowen. Justin Brownlee now with the puck. Brownlee looking for some options. Nathan Duff now tries to get puck out. Takes a bump there. Takes a couple of bumps there. And Forbes will just cover that up. Colton Kites in the white jerseys tonight as, and the Fort St. John Huskies wearing their blacks. And here comes the Huskies now and play is still on side as Lee takes a bump there. And the puck is sent back out to center there by the Colton Kites. Curtis Lee now up ahead there for Jared Winkle now. Curtis Lee now. Snaps a shot and he scores. Curtis Lee. Snipes a beauty over top of the glove of Joe Forbes. And the Huskies get that four goal lead back. And Jared Winkle will get the assist here at 314.
So Lee now against Scott Thackeray. Picking up there is Model now. Here's Curtis Lee, the goal scorer. Up ahead there for Jared Winkle now. Winkle throws it towards the net and he missed the attending target. And it looks like Keaton Hartness lost his, blew a tire and went into the boards. And also just launches the net. Five-one Huskies lead here in the second period. Two fifty-seven left to go here at the Imperial Oil Place Arena tonight here in Cold Lake. And the puck is flexed up and out of play, and we'll have another face-off outside the zone. This goal So Curtis Lee will get the goal, Brendan Model and Jared Winkle will get the assists at 314. And here comes Parker Pike now. Pike with a great move. Tries to throw it to head there for Bacot, but he lost handle the puck. Shot taken there by Grayson Dye Dion. And that will be stopped there by Daniel Sturgeon. Face off is coming inside Cold Lake High Zone. Scramble for it and Puck is there for Reed Bateman. Puck is high up in the skates. Here's Jack Leverin and up ahead there is Cowan now. Cowan shoots and that misses by a country mile. Cowan again on the puck. Takes a bump there from Parker Pike, Cowan, nice moves. Up ahead there for Tanner McCracken now, takes a clapper and that puck is shot wide. Shot taken there, the puck is, is right behind fours but it goes right through the blue paint. And back comes MacArthur now. Up ahead there for Pike and the play is offside at the blue line. Face off is coming outside the zone. 150 left to go in the second period. 5 1 Huskies lead. Puck a shot into the zone. Sturgeon now steered aside there for. Number 20, Thomas Lowen, and here it comes. Witchy now, Witchy tries to get through and no Cook able to cut him off. Caleb Burnett now with the puck. Up ahead there for Van Moran. And puck up ahead there for Dawson Cook. Cook now will fire it around. Puck is uh, dumped back in there. Pass is intercepted there. And here comes Kennard Witchy now. Throws it towards the slot. No Mahome. Clap for taking there and a kick save there by Joe Forbes. And here's Charles Malou now. Malou gets stick checked there by Reed Bateman. Clapper there and a the stick shatters on Jade Williams as he tossed that into the ice in frustration. And here's Hartness now. Hartness throws it in front and a great defensive play there by Ty Harper. Puck is thrown towards the net, steered aside there by Sturgeon. Grayson Dion now throws it towards the net and it's intercepted and back comes Lowen now with the puck. Nick Lowen dumps it in. Nathan Duff now tries to get the puck out but it's there for Chase London. Shot is thrown towards the net there by Justin Brownlee and it's 
and the puck goes in. Anderson looking shot from, looks like from, uh, from the side of the boards. And it looks like it will be Brendan Model getting credited with the goal. With 1.4 seconds left, fire from a weird angle, you don't know what happens. And St. John will increase their lead. It is six to one. And that'll do it. So the score after two periods of play, it is the Husky six and your Cold Lake Heist one. Goal scorers for the second period, Curtis Lee getting on the score sheet and Brendan Model are your goal scorers in that second period for the Huskies and for your Cold Lake Heist, it was Scott Thackeray, assisted by Jaden Williams. So 6-1 after two periods of play. Thank you very much for tuning into the second period here between the Cold Lake Ice and the Fort St. John Huskies. And we will be back for the third period. So don't go away.
again, folks. We are back here for period three. As the uh, Colic Ice trail six to one. Against the uh, Fort St. John Huskies. Scott Thacker with the only goal so far in tonight's game. And that was assisted by Jane Williams. As you're getting set to drop the puck here for period number three. These two will be right back at it, not even 12 hours from now. They'll be back here, right at, back at it tomorrow afternoon at 12 o'clock local time. Puck up ahead there for number 19, Scott Thackeray. Shot taken there by Williams. And a penalty coming up here to the for the Huskies, and it's slashing. And it will be Alex Nemo going off for slashing, so the Colby Heiser head to the third power play of the game. Buck is one there and shot out of the zone there by Tanner McCracken and Jane Williams now with the puck. Stacker now who has the goal tonight for the Coldlick Ice. Stops on the puck and tries to look for Jane Williams but that will go back out. Back to it there is Hartness now. He strips the puck there from Grice and Dion. Jane Williams now tries to play up ahead, but that hit a skate. Williams now with the puck. And the puck is stopped there by Joe Forbes. Face off inside the Colic High Zone. Still a bit of Ted to work with here on the power play. Colic 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. Puck is shot in there, and Kill Burnett will go after it against Brendan Model. Ethan Peak now with the puck. Peak tries to get a shot away, and that puck hit the side of the net. Puck is shot out of the zone there by Brendan Model. Forbes now will play it up ahead. And here is Caleb Burnett now. Caleb Burnett now skates it into the zone. He'll dump it in. Evan Dotzler now gets the puck and he will just shoot that back out. Cold Kites is only two shots here on this power play. And the puck hit the official and will come back out. Here is Cowan now. Cowan with a spin move. Oscar Burgess now. And back is it, here is Nemo now. And Nemo and looks like uh, Dasa Cook and Nemo taking some shots at each other. Have a little bit of a wrestling match. Noah Cook and Burgess getting into it a little bit. Looks like Alice Sinemo going off for the Huskies and Doss the Cook for the Cold Lake Ice. And it looks like it's going to stay five on five here. So 
So it will be Curtis Lee in the face-off circle. And he will get it there for Jared Winkle. Lee now. Here is Lee. Lee up top there for number 20 and up the boards. And the puck comes out. Puck is shot off the boards there. Here's Hartness now. Hartness got some room, shoots, and it dribbles in. An innocent looking shot there by Keaton Hartness. And it squeaks through the five hole of Joe Forbes and it is now seven to one for the Huskies. About a weak goal there for Forbes. And it's now seven to one. That call comes at 17.08. Hartness now. Shoots pad save. The rebound comes back out. Shot taken there and the puck is shot wide. And it's in. Keaton Hartness. Looks like he banked it in after a missed chance there for Jared Winkle. And the Sea Dogs will increase, or the Huskies will increase their lead to 8 1. So the Fort St. John Sea Dogs have blown the doors wide open here 8 1. And here's McCarthy now. Here is Lee now, tries to back out towards that puck, is thrown towards the net again. Jammed up there by, looks like there, looks like by uh, Jared Winkle, but he was denied. Thackeray dumps the puck in, takes the bump there. Here's McCracken now. Hartness now. Buck is dumped back in. Buck is shot around the boards, McCormick now. We'll get to it, but the puck is shot out there by Keaton Hartness. And it looks like there will be icing call against the uh, Cold Lake Ice. So Keaton Harness will get credit for the second goal. Here is Winkle now and he'll throw it up ahead. As uh, Jane Williams able to get back to the puck there first. Pass is intercepted there by Chase London. Oh my goodness and he bulldozes Jane Williams to the ice. Couple of heavy hits this evening. Brendan Model now with the puck, and it's tipped in the zone there by Chase London. It will cook now, we'll go after it. Takes a check there from Nick Lowen. Here's Bacot now. Puck is thrown towards that. Puck, where is the puck? And it goes in. How did that get to the net? Looks like the puck is just thrown towards the net. And whatever it is, it's 9-1 Huskies. We'll see who gets credit for the goal. Look at the puck deflected over top of uh, Joe Forbes and it's now 9-1. And he gets run there by Charles Malou as he takes Evan Dotzler into the boards. 15.07 left to go here in this third period. Here is here in the first of two exhibition games between the Huskies and the Ice. And here is Chase London now. 
He'll get away, he'll get to Model now. Here's Dotzler now at the puck. Up ahead there for Model. So Chase Landon will get credit for the eighth goal. And the ninth goal. So Chase London will also get credit for the ninth goal as well. Puck is thrown eight of the boards. Eight of the zone, I should say. Back to there's no cook tip up ahead there for Nathan Duff. Both teams putting pressure on each other, and here it comes Noah Cook now. Noah Cook has the puck knocked off him. Here is Oscar Burgess. Noah Cook now. The puck will get shot back in, tipped in, so no icing as Oscar Burgess now will get to it. Up ahead there for Thomas Lowen. Puck is banked up ahead there for Dawson Phillips. Phillips takes his man into the boards. And here is Grayson Dion. He'll get the puck out. But here comes Hannah McCracken now. McCracken shoots and he just whiff, whistled that one wide. Puck is played down low for McCracken, but he could not get his stick on it. And puck shot out there by the Cold Lake Ice. Puck is thrown up ahead there. Puck is shot back in the zone there by Oscar Burgess. Back to get it there is Bryson Dion and the puck is shot out. Puck is flicked up ahead there. And a backhand tip there by Logan Kimmy, but it just sails over top of the bar. Jay Williams now will go after it. Gets checked there by Connor Witchy. Puck is shot out there by the Kolek Heist and Foisey now will give chase. Sturgeon now able to clear the puck away. And here is Foyce now. Takes a clapper and that was blocked there by number 25, Evan Dotzler. Here's Thackeray now to McCormick. McCormick. Down low there for Maran. And the Huskies will get the puck out, led there by Brendan Model. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Jared Winkle, but Model could not get his stick onto it. Here is Curtis Lee now. He's knocked off the puck, and here is a chance here for Marin, but he was stripped off the puck there by Chase London. Puck a shot in there by Thomas Lowen. Back to get it is number seven, Dawson Cook. Up ahead there for Josh Butt now. He gets uh, taken off the puck there by Thomas Lowen as he's able to take it, him into the boards. And he could not hold the bone. Here's a breakaway now for Jared Winkle now. Winkle gets stick checked at the last second. Throws it across and a shot taken there by Hartness and he just misses, misses the net. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Reed Bateman and the puck stays out. Charles Malou now with the puck and he will skate it out to center. Picked off and here comes the Huskies now. Chase London shoots off the bar. And you can just hear that thing all the way from here. That is three goal posts tonight for the Huskies. And here's Curtis Lee now. Up top there for McCracken. Able to get the puck over. Here's London now. Backhand stopped there by Forbes. Second opportunity 
there by Justin Brownlee, and that will be covered up there by Joe Forbes. As, Saint, as Fort St. John came dangerously close to making it 10 1, as Chase London rifled him right off the bar. Puck is set around the boards. Malou now trying to get the puck out. Both teams will battle for the puck there as Burgess now throws it towards the net, easily steered there by Forbes. Here is Charles Malou now. Malou, shot taken there and off the bar. Ty Harper struck one right off the post. There's the first ding there for Cold Lake. That is two goal posts in less than a span of a minute. And here's a chance there for Nick Lowen. Tries to get the shot off while falling down, but he shoots it wide. Here's Cowan now with the puck. Up top there for Brendan Model. Model now trying to fight his way through up top there for McCracken. McCracken shoots and that was shot wide. Brownlee now on the puck. Getting checked there by Carter McCraw. Puck is held in there. Shot taken there by Brownlee and that was deflected wide. Battle for it behind the net, picked off there by Parker Pike and he will put it off the glass and back out. Dawson Phillips now with the puck. Up ahead there for McCracken. Back to get there is Reed Bateman, or pardon me, make that Ethan Peake. Here is Dan McCormick now. McCormick trying to fight his way towards that backhander. Couple of cracks at it. And they have some shoving afterwards. And a shove there by McCormick as he Knocks down, uh, looks like Jane Lavrin. Lovren. May have oversold that a little bit. And still some pushing and shoving here as McCormick is going to get a penalty now. Roughing after the whistle. That's a bad penalty for McCormick to take. Took some extra shots after the whistle. Second power play of the game here for the uh, Huskies as they are 0 for 1. Eat the pick now, we'll shoot the puck around the boards and back out. Sturgeon now. We'll play it there for Thomas Lowen. Lawen now will make his way into the zone. Lawen gets around the defense. In front and a one-time shot there by Witchy and a blocker save there by Joe Forbes. Here is number 10, Kimby now. Kimby shoots in that pocket shot wide. Rebound. And it looks like uh, Cowan just could not quite get a stick on it for the open net. Shot taken there and it was blocked. Puck is not cleared. And the puck is shot back out and here's a chance here. It's a, uh, here's Christian Fowley, shoots and scores! Christian Foisey. Able to score shorthanded and the Cold Lake Ice have cut into that large lead. It is now 9 to 2 with 6.54 left to go in the third period. Christian Foisey able to get his name on the score sheet. After great sustained pressure there by the Huskies, Foisey able to get one shorthanded. And it's 9 to 2. Today. 
And here is Curtis Lee now. Up ahead there for Model now. Model now with the puck. Fort St. John looks to get set up here. Model. Cross to Lee. Lee looking for some shooting options. Up top there. Shot taken there by Jared Winkle and a glove save there by Forbes. Glove save there by Forbes. 31 seconds left to go here in this power play for the Huskies. And here is Model now. Here is Lee. Lee trying to fight his way towards the net. One timer there by Brendan Model, and that was tipped up and wide of the net. Here is Wink. Here is Lowen now. Jared Winkle now. Pardon, pardon me. Puck is tipped out there by Caleb Brunette. Christian Foisey getting the goal. Shorthanded at 6.54. Here is Lee. Down though there for number 17, Jared Winkle. And the puck is shot in. And it's a power, and it looks like it's not a power play goal. And it looks like Curtis Lee able to finish that one off and it's double digits now for the Huskies. It's 10 to two. Here's Blue now for Jane Williams. Puck a shot in the zone there by the Kodak Ice. Puck a shot up ahead there for Jocelyn Loverin, but that missed the attaining target of Dawson Phillips. And looks like play will stay inside the Kodak Ice zone. 5 11 left to play. Folks, don't forget the next game will be to right back at it tomorrow afternoon, 12 o'clock puck drop against the Fort St. John Huskies as the Cold Lake Ice final exhibition game to close it out. Here is Jane Williams now, will shoot around the boards to Charles Malou. Here's McCracken now, shoots the puck wide. We are into the final five minutes here at Imperial Oil Place Arena tonight in Cold Lake. Here is Nathan Duff now. Duff, he stripped off the puck. Puck is shot back into the zone and that will be covered up. All right, time to get your 50-50 out. Winning ticket number is 462-939. Again, 462 Face off in the zone here. Alex Nemo in the face off circle against Parker Pikes. Both teams scrambling for the puck now. Nemo tries to fire it on net and that was blocked. Burgess now will shoot the puck back down and that looks like it won't be icing, so play continues. Here's a shot taken there by. Connor Witchy and that puck was shot over top of the net. Shot taken there by Alex Nemo and puck was deflected just wide. Witchy now. Witchy trying to work his way towards the net. And he had the puck knocked off him at the last second. Nemo now. Alex Nemo. Up top there for Thomas Lowen. Knocked away there by Parker Pike. And the play is offside at the blue line. Three forty six left to go here in this uh, third period of play. 
10-2, the Huskies lead over the Cold Lake Ice. And here is Winkle now. Up ahead there for Brennan Model. Curtis Lee scores on the power play at 539. Scott Thackery lines up the face off circle against Lee. Both teams battle for the puck here. And here is Dutzler now. Puck is dumped back into Cold Lake Ice territory. And here is a chance here for Scott Thackery now, who has, the, who has one of the ice goals up ahead for McCormick. Just out of his reach. McCormick now has it stripped, and here comes Wingle now with the puck. Here's Lee now. Up ahead there for Brendan Model. Knocked off the puck. And here is Noah Cook now trying to get possession of the puck. Puck is dumped in there by Jaden Van Moran. And Tanner McCracken now will shoot the puck down the ice and he is going to ice it. Face off coming back inside Cold Lake Heights territory. Lining up is Caleb Burnett in the face off circle against Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee wins the face off back and here's McCracken now with the puck. A crack it up ahead for Lee. Puck is dumped off the boards. Puck knocked down by Williams, an intercepted, and here comes Window now with the puck. Window throws across the ice, and that puck was intercepted. Puck is shot back in the zone as Bateman now will go after it. And the puck is shot back in the zone there by number 14, Grayson Dion. Reed Bateman now with the puck. And here is uh, Tanner McCracken now. That puck was knocked down beautifully there by Grayson Dion. It takes a massive hit there. Looks like by Nick Lowen. Looks like he's all right. Both teams battle for the puck here. Puck is thrown towards the net there by Grayson Dion and easy glove save there by Daniel Surgeon. For face off coming inside. Cold Lake Ice territory, or Fort St. John territory. Scrub for off the face off and picked up there by Thomas Lowen. Up ahead there for London. London will just fire into the zone. First to get there is Brownlee now. Brownlee with the puck. Throws towards the slot and that was intercepted, but puck is held in there. Takes a sh shot taken there by Nick Lowen, but that was fanned on there. Lowen. Puck in behind the net now as it's Justin Brownlee. Charles Ballou now will intercept the puck and take it out. 40 seconds to go here in this third period. Here is Parker Puck now, he'll dump it into the zone. Sturgeon out the puck. Pike and London will go after it. Puck is shot around the other board, around the far boards. Picot now takes a bump there from Dawson Phillips. And here comes Dawson Phillips now with the puck. 
Phillips gets cut off there by Dawson Cook. Both teams battling for the puck now. And that'll do it. So the Fort, the Fort St. John Huskies come in and take game one of two of exhibition games here in Cold Lake. Final score, Huskies 10, your Cold Lake Ice 2. So folks, don't forget the next uh, game tomorrow will be at 12 o'clock local time as these teams will be right back at it tomorrow afternoon. And don't forget the, our home opener will be on October 2nd against the Vermilion Tigers. That will be a 7.30 p.m. start. So mark on your calendar, October 2nd is the home opener for the Cold Lake Ice. Still one more exhibition game to go tomorrow. That will be at 12 o'clock. And that'll be against the uh, same team, the Huskies. Fort St. John Huskies. So folks, uh, thank you for watching our stream tonight from Fort St. John and Cold Lake and all across different parts of Canada and, and possibly all over the world. I'm Carter Simpson. Thank you so much for joining in to Cold Lake Ice TV tonight. And we will see you. We will see you again soon. So long from Imperial Oil Place Arena tonight.